what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Allow me to jar your memory for a moment. Remember back on September 25th, Monday Night Football, Jerry Jones, the owner of the Dallas Cowboys, locking arms with his players, taking a knee in solidarity right before the playing of the national anthem. Remember how supportive many people thought he was of the players' right to freedom of speech and expression? Well, apparently old Jerry has had a change of heart. This after talking to Donald Trump at least four times in the last week. Now he is saying that he wants his players to stand or else. In fact, he didn't say he wants them to stand. He said they're going to stand or else. Here's part of his statement. If there's anything disrespecting the flag, then we will not play, period. We're going to respect the flag and I'm going to create the perception of it. Now, before this new revelation, a lot of people was fooled by old Jerry taking a knee. People were really excited about him standing in solidarity with the players. Only a few caught on to what he was doing. Only a few, including yours truly. He took a knee only before the playing of the national anthem. And he stood for the national anthem. So it's like, eh, it's like, you know what, man? You know, uh, I'm going to go in here and rob this place with you, but I ain't finna hold no gun. I ain't finna stop nobody. I ain't gonna grab the money. I ain't gonna do nothing but just look. I'm just gonna watch, witness everything go down, and then I'm gonna walk out and then look for my split. I ain't buying it. Man, pick a side. It ain't that damn hard. There's an old saying, what's done in the dark will come to light. This wasn't necessarily done in the dark, but it did come to light for a lot of people in the wake of Jerry Jones catching all of these headlines lately. The $1 million that he donated to Donald Trump's inaugural fund. See, these are two good old, old boys. Jerry Jones is 74, Donald Trump 70 something. Both of them look like they're 100 and something. Whole other story. Anyway, this dude, he all of a sudden acts like he cares about perception but he had no problem with perception when Jerry Brown, one of his players, was drinking and driving and killed another teammate. He allowed him to come back to the team. He had no perception, cared nothing about perception when, what's the guy named who got caught up on the uh, conviction for domestic violence? Anyway, uh, Hardy, I can't remember his first name, but Hardy is his name, had no problem with perception. And you can go down the list with the amount of players who's had drug convictions. They had no problem with none of that stuff. But God forbid you don't stand for the flag. See, again, y'all, it's not really about standing for the flag. It's not about veterans. It's about somebody doing something that they don't like. Now, if these players were kneeling for, if they say, well, I'm gonna kneel for doing the national anthem, the plan of the national anthem, I'm gonna kneel for veterans, then that would have been cool. <laughs> but you better not, boy, Better not kneel for no damn, to stop no damn police brutality. Be kneeling for equality in America. Don't you dare try such a thing in America. 
We're biased and hypocritical, man, and you ain't finna get no equality around here. You better carry your ass somewhere else. See, that's the name of the game. Jerry Jones ain't never stood for nothing but money. Don't ever get that twisted. Jerry Jones, I may have had some respect for this dude in the past, but I have zero for him now. Because by him rescinding his, at least that act of solidarity, it shows me how influential Trump really is. He has some type of spell on motherfuckers. They get all giddy when he say things. And they want to please him like the massa. Like, massa, what can I do for you today, massa, to gain your approval to show you that I am worthy of being in your presence. Look here, uh, stop them boys from protesting. Jerry, to me, has just made himself Trump's bitch. He's not his own man because he really wants to stand with those players. He really do really want to, but he loved that money so much and all of the privileges that he's been able to get for so many years by just being the skin complexion, having the skin complexion that he has, that's what he loved more than anything. So he can't support the players. When Donald Trump's calls and talk that mumbo jumbo shit, he probably put Jeff Sessions on the uh, on the phone also say hey man you know we in this together we 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 still together what i mean it's white power he's like yeah i forgot about that white power <laughs> yeah jerry jones absolutely no respect for this dude straight up hypocrite sucker Donald Trump disrespects this country every day by siding with neo-Nazis and colluding with the Russians to win the election. That's enough right there. Jerry Jones is a clown. If Zeke, Dak, and Daz took a knee, what the hell are they going to do then? Nothing. That was the best players he had. That's his only chance of being able to compete. If he think he's losing money now, imagine what would happen if they took a knee. And whoo, what if the other players joined him? You don't even have to have all of them join. Just a nice number of them, a good 15, 20, 25. Man, he'd have to eat that. It's power in numbers. He got to eat that. So he don't give a damn about a certain section of fans. That, it's cool to shit on them and not care what they think and all of that. But these other ones over here, well, I got to pay more attention to them. I got to do what they want because those fans are really more important than these other fans. This shows y'all how they really feel about you. I don't understand. I don't understand how people could still be watching the games. I don't get it. Let me tell you, sis. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Disobedience is the foundation of liberation. Show me an obedient person and I'll show you a slave. Don't be a slave. No more talk. What, what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Florida, Texas.